Hi, I'm Trevor Greer. I am the primary builder and team leader of the Iron Man Suit Project. The Iron Man Suit was constructed for popular YouTuber Slyfox, who is primarily known for his Let's Plays and video game content. The electronics and software of the suit were created as a senior design project for the Electrical Engineering Department of Texas A&M University. The team consisted of four members, including myself. Travis Kirk was in charge of the hardware and power allocation for the entire suit, as well as the design of the custom PCBs. Corbin Botter was in charge of the voice commands and audio processing subsystem. Elijah Rockers was in charge of the video processing and design of the heads-up display. I myself designed the method for the control signal processing and user input to the suit, and I integrated the other subsystems. I also constructed the majority of the suit with a little help from friends and the other team members. The base of the suit is created using cardstock and a program called Pepakura in combination with 3D models provided by various individuals over the internet. Links to them will be in the description. The cardstock is then strengthened using epoxy resin and fiberglass cloth. Afterwards, automotive body filler is applied to the surface and sanded down to obtain a smooth finish. The suit is then primed, painted, and clear coated. After this, all the pieces are assembled using a mixture of aluminum flat bars, rivets, nylon webbing, straps, and buckles. The suit also has a number of different functions. The helmet opens and closes. There is a heads-up display mounted on the inside of the faceplate, which displays the time, temperature, and battery life remaining to the user. It also has two alternative color space modes, which are intended to simulate heat vision and night vision. The camera for the heads-up display is mounted in the chin of the suit. The chest of the suit lights up, as you can see, and it also has a unibeam blast cycle, which plays back a sound file. And there is a similar setup for both of the hands. There are also servos mounted in the forearm of the suit, which open and close the missile pod. In addition to this, there are also four flaps on the back of the suit, which open and close as well. The suit is controlled via buttons hidden in the thighs or with this external control panel. We can also use voice commands to control the suit. We can ask Jarvis to operate any of the suit's functions or play back music files, such as Iron Man, of course, or several other songs used throughout the Iron Man movies. Jarvis responds to our commands using sound bites taken from the movies. However, he is also capable of answering questions using a combination of Google Translate and the Wolfram Alpha API. Jarvis, divert all power to chest. Jarvis, let's fly. So, that's about it for the basics of this suit. Please be sure to subscribe to this channel as well as Sly Foxes. I will be posting further updates about this suit as well as new projects that I'm working on. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to leave any questions, comments, or suggestions below. And if you wouldn't mind, please check out my games channel where myself and three other idiots yell at each other while we play video games together. Nick, jump on to something, yes? I'm looking for something! Full of stuff. I'm looking! I'm looking! I'm looking! I'm looking! I'm looking. I'm looking. <laughs> Help me! Oh sweet Jesus, I missed it! Nick, what are you doing? Nick, what are you doing? I'm trying! <laughs>